Hey, I think I'm on air. Oh, this is so weird. I can't see any of you, but you can see me. Hold on. Okay. Wow. 33 viewers. That's nice. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, this is really weird because you can see me, but I like can't see any of you. So I feel like I'm just talking into like a screen where no one's listening. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start out by, I guess, reading some tweets that are from my new book. Um, cause people like hearing tweets, even though you can read them online. All right, uh, someone in my house is cooking bacon, but I can smell it, it's a bit distracting. I just went in a hot tub too, so my face is like really red, <laughs> um, or I'm sunburned. Anyways, uh, all right, here we go. Not only did I just go to In-N-Out Burger alone at midnight on a Wednesday, but the lady at the drive-thru took one look at me and said, honey, it's gonna be okay. A large moth just flew into my oven and died. Rest in peace, Sylvia Moth. I'm thinking about having a baby, then training wolves to raise it so I don't have to. It should be illegal for attractive people to hang out with each other. Period sex is goth. I'm going to tie my boyfriend to a chair and force him to look at my Pinterest. I wish there was such a thing as a time-release burrito that I could eat for 8 to 10 hours. My New Year's resolution will be to develop a crippling porn addiction and slowly but surely remove all human contact from my life. I think more people would want to be my friend if I was a whale at SeaWorld. I want the Mortal Kombat theme song to play at my funeral. Imagine a severely depressed sloth becoming frustrated and crying while trying to masturbate because his hand is moving too slowly. I may not be ambitious or outgoing, but at least I'm not ambitious and outgoing. How do you like it so far, good? <laughs> Don't hate the player, hate their dad. I'm gonna give up on writing and dedicate myself full time to making tiny hats you can put on your penis. I take every possible opportunity to tell people about my chronic yeast infections, but each time I pretend like I'm embarrassed about it. I saw a guy in his car masturbating and eating chips at the same time, and I was like, I see you over there doing you, and I respect that. Being high on drugs seems way safer than being high on life. The only thing that seems objectively bad to me right now is carbs. Everything else seems fine, including murder. I never clear my browser history after watching porn, but I'm really nervous about people hearing me pee. One time my ex-boyfriend let me snort his cocaine at a party, and then I told him I had a clove of garlic in my vagina and I could taste the garlic in my mouth. This alcohol isn't going to drink itself into incoherence and liver failure. Is it too late for my mom to abort me? Being an artist means being unbathed, unproductive, and alone 99% of the time, but saying I'm a writer when attractive people ask me what I do. 
My favorite part about having one life is ruining it with excessive drug use and poor impulse control. Pulitzer Prizes should go to whichever author has received the most unsolicited dick pics. I'm going to sleep and I'm not waking up until Jonathan Franzen announces that his next book will be 300 photos of his own penis. It seems unfair that time in the womb is wasted on babies who don't understand the value of being alone in a warm, dark place with automatic food. I'm seeking an attractive 19 to 45 year old male to violently rub sand in my eyes. I ate a piece of soap that looked like candy even though I knew it was soap. Seeing a guy eat a cheeseburger in the waiting room of Planned Parenthood is probably the closest I've been to a profound experience of art. I had a dream that my ex-boyfriend's dad went bankrupt after paying for a surgery to get a second penis attached to his forehead. I feel like an extremely smart cannibal somehow programmed me to be unmotivated to exercise in order to keep the meat on my body tender. If you're happy and you know it, what the fuck? Does anyone know a method for converting spam bots into real life friends? Is there a paper I can sign that says I'm okay with people wearing my skin as clothes after I die? I'm interested in acquiring a second vagina on the top of my head and a third vagina inside my first vagina. People only have sex with me to prove that they are as depressed as they say they are. I'm excited to have more time to play World of Warcraft and do cocaine alone in my room now that nobody is having sex with me. I know for a fact some of you people swallow actual semen all the time but still claim to be grossed out by mayonnaise. I see you. Today I ate two birth control pills because I like pills and have no self-control. I think Cormac McCarthy's ex-wife deserves a Pulitzer Prize for that one time she pulled a silver handgun out of her vagina and pointed it at her boyfriend during a heated argument about aliens. That's true. You can Google it. Don't forget. I would be interested in an MFA program that teaches you how to forget about poetry entirely and learn how to do something that's actually useful. A reality TV show called, So You Think You Can Fit This Toaster in Your Vagina? I guess I started writing poetry because I want to be a famous billionaire. My vagina needs to start wearing tiny versions of all the clothes I wear on my body. I'm going to run for office and my political platform will be that we need to legalize caffeinated for loco. So you like your dog? Well, you'll like it even more when it's dead and in my vagina. Um, my milkshake makes all the boys run screaming from my yard. Somewhere on the oceans, dolphins are fucking each other's blowholes, and look at you. You're just sitting there. We go together like an active social media presence in deep-seated emotional problems. I feel like Zoe Deschanel if Zoe Deschanel was actually four guys in a trench coat wearing a wig. I once peed on my own car because I thought it was someone else's car. I'm dressing for the job I want, which is a crippling drug addiction followed by a terminal illness. Why do you love it when I call you Big Papa, but it makes you feel weird when I call you Daddy? The internet is a huge labyrinth with a lot of doors, and behind every door is a guy with his dick stuck in a bottle. A child at the grocery store said to me, do you want to see my penis? And I said, maybe when you're older, and his mom said, what's wrong with you? So I said, okay, show me your penis now, I guess. I laughed halfway through my 18th birthday party so I could eat cake alone in a park. I want to gain 100 pounds so I can devote the rest of my life to losing 100 pounds. I'm the Pablo Picasso being a sad, pointless shithead. I found a plastic bag full of spaghetti in my coat pocket today. All I want is unlimited money and unlimited drugs and for someone to rip my face off and light me on fire then push me out of an airplane. Is that so much to ask? I can't believe sex is something humans want. Do you guys know what happens during sex? The goal of all relationships should be mutual suicide instead of marriage. The only way to maintain relationships, I've learned, is to lie constantly and expect nothing and act in ways that are unpredictable and insane.
They took my blood pressure at Planned Parenthood while I was high on cocaine, and the nurse said, mm, it's a little low. What if projectile vomiting was a common reaction to getting startled by a loud noise? A drug that lets you see someone's sexual interest in you, rated on a scale of 1 to 10, but makes you too high to understand what the rating means. A large naked man getting arrested in front of my house said, I have drugs in my pocket. And the cop responded, you're naked. I just discovered that Ben Affleck and Tom Cruise aren't the same person. I keep looking at inanimate objects in my room and thinking, you lazy motherfuckers. Just imagine a panda eating fried things with increasing levels of despair for three days and then dying. <laughs> computer is falling off a stack of pillows I have it resting on. I had a dream that I called every phone number in the world until eventually I was able to contact Jennifer Lopez. People only hang out with me because I'm entertaining in the same way that an obese three-legged dog is entertaining. I somehow confused kangaroos with Sasquatch and felt genuine anger that ignorant people were pushing their belief in kangaroos on me. I had a dream that I gave birth to a sheep and tried to convince people it was human by wrapping it in a blanket and putting several hats on it. Perceived a chair breaking while I was sitting in it as the chair making the last dish effort to get away from me by breaking its own leg. I'm the Jonathan Franzen of bleeding through my pants in social situations. Asking me to maintain a day job is like asking a whale to fit into a normal sized condom. Reality TV show called, Why Do You Think Anyone Wants to See That Photo of Your Penis? I like my men how I like my hopes and dreams. Dead. If this new Taylor Swift song doesn't immediately solve all of my lifelong emotional problems, I'm going to punch my unpaid intern. Don't you wish your girlfriend was an insane burden like me? Why am I always starving, but also consistently gaining weight, you ask? Because my life is dope, and I do dope shit. If you do not prominently display the Wi-Fi password in your home or business, then you are part of the problem. I'm going to ask my unpaid intern to explain to me what the point of a cock ring is. Skip the honeymoon phase and go directly to the getting fatter phase. Friendly reminder that in 1975, David Bowie told Rolling Stone magazine that his semen was being stolen by witches. That's true. If you look at the um, Station to Station Wikipedia page, there's a whole section about David Bowie going insane. And it says that he thought the bodies were falling past his window and he was deadly afraid of Jimmy Page. I highly recommend it. Oh no, I'm not menstruating. That's just my monthly vagina Ebola. I can't hang out tonight. I already made plans to smoke weed and stare at a plant. I would rather fuck a leper than fuck myself. Okay, that's the end of my reading. Um, if you come tune into the after party, uh, which I believe is like in a tiny chat, I'll tweet the link. I'm gonna be uh, giving my boyfriend Tyler a stick and poke tattoo, which I've never done before. Um, so I highly recommend watching me destroy his body permanently. It'll be fun for everybody. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.